Thank you, Mr. President, Commissioner. Uh, dear colleagues, I would like to start, first of all, by thanking my friend, the Rapporteur, Jean-Marie Cavada, on delivering what is for European Union citizens a real breakthrough. For far too long, we have tried to work towards deconstructing borders, only today to find ourselves in a situation where our citizens can physically pass through a border, but a big part of their life stops as soon as they do so because they cannot access the digital contact, content that rightfully belongs to them. And therefore, it was essential that this matter was dealt with, and I congratulate you for the approach that you have taken and the well-balanced, inclusive solution that you have arrived at. That balance has been struck between consumers, consumer rights, and right holders. And it was essential that this Parliament delivers a strong message of support to the Rapporteur's work. I will certainly do that, and my group also, through the Trialogue outcome, which we will be voting on tomorrow. And I truly believe it is a digital single market success story. It strikes the right balance between providing online content to consumers while they are temporarily outside of their own member state whilst ensuring that sufficiently robust residency verification safeguards are in place for rights holders. I'm happy to see that the verification methods strike the right balance between being effective but respecting data protection rules in order to avoid abuse. Service providers will do so by verifying a subscriber's country of residence through payment details, an internet contract, or an IP address checks. Slowly but surely, the digital single market is being addressed, and consumers and rights holders can both be happy with the outcome of this report. Thank you.